Okay, here's what's normally in the top bearing of a shop vac. You've got this carrier, a retainer that you can get out. Then there's a felt and a bushing. There's the felt, there's the bushing. It goes in there. You can replace that with the number 608 ball bearing. There's the 608 ball bearing. It's a loose fit in that boss and it'll spin if you don't shim it. So I took a piece of beverage can and made an aluminum shim. Put in there. It may not be terribly evident, but I put that a Coca-Cola sh can shim in there, and now I can put the bearing in there, and it it'll be just a snug enough fit that it won't spin in operation. Now in this example, I've got that shim, you know, going around exactly 360 degrees the circumference of the bearing boss. But in your application, you may need to adjust the length of that shim. It, it may not to be may not need to be the entire 360 degrees. You know, if you make it that big, the bearing may not fit. It may be too much thickness. So adjust the shim length to get the bearing to be a nice firm, you know, fit so that you can just barely push it in with your fingers. That'll keep the outer race steady so the outer race won't spin inside the boss. Now, if you discover that your shim length needs to be less than 360 degrees around the bearing, you know, to make it fit properly, you're going to want to cut the shim into two pieces, you know, just the right amount of length. Let's just say like that and like that. And then when you put the shims in the bearing boss, you want to put them on opposite sides of the bearing so that the central hole of the bearing stays concentric to the shaft. Now, the tolerances on this shop vac motor are probably such that, you know, you could leave that, that shim in one piece and wrap it around <clears throat> and it wouldn't offset the bearing too much to actually matter. But if you wanna be a perfectionist about it, and you're having a shim that's less than 360 degrees, cut it in two pieces, put them on opposite sides of the bearing. I'm fooling around here trying to do it. But anyway, you put them on either side of the bearing so that the hole will remain concentric when you put the bearing in the bearing boss. So there's the shim in place, the bearing is in there. <clears throat> and I can't spin that bearing. I gave it a pretty good little wiggle and it won't spin. Now, the only downside to this is driving this on the shaft. When you drive a bearing onto a shaft, you're supposed to put all the force on the inner race of the bearing, not the outer race. And when I go to put this on the shaft, I'm going to drop this on the shaft and bang on this. And some of the force is going to be transmitted through the outer bearing I mean the outer race, but hopefully it'll go on with just a small enough force that I won't damage that bearing by driving it onto the shaft that way. Well, I changed my mind. I'm gonna go ahead and drive that bearing onto the motor shaft with a socket, applying the force just only to the inner race. And then I'll see if I can get my carrier with the boss with the shim on to the outside of the bearing. Hopefully I can do it. Okay, I drove it partway on. It's going so easily that I'm gonna go ahead and put the boss on there with the shim and put it the west, rest of the way down. I don't think it'll put enough force on the outer race to cause any damage to the uh, cage or the bearings. Okay, that went on super easy. There was just 
a little bit of friction, I was able to just push it home. I didn't even have to tap it with a hammer. So I put no undue force on that bearing at all. So now I got a new ball bearing up here instead of that bronze bushing and that felt oiler ring. So this motor comes with a ball bearing at the bottom. I've put a new ball bearing up here to replace the bronze bushing and there's no free play in there at all. I can't move that shaft side to side at all. When I had the old bushing in there, which was worn out, there was a bit of, you know, radial side play in that between the shaft and the bushing, but this is dead solid.